Hey guys, Ian Fernando here, and I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick uh, I bet you nobody does or use because um, the system or service is geared towards affiliate marketing. But if you just use your head a little bit, you know, um, you can actually use it for other things, and it's pretty cool. So, you know I make a lot of digital products, and um, I have affiliate, my, my own little affiliate management system for you guys to promote it. And now when I promote my products, I, I want to track it, you know, I want to know what's going on, I want to know what conversions are, and I want to have a visual aspect for it. And the best tool or system out there is Tracking 202 or the self-hosted version Prosper 202. And now when you think about it, it's meant for affiliate marketing. It's not meant for, um, uh, you know, tracking product creation or tracking conversions. But Prosper and Tracking 202 is meant to track clicks, spend, and conversions, right? And it's basically a PPC a uh, analytics tool. And I use it because I want, when I promote my product through PPC or paid search, I want to see the conversion and, you know, the money I'm spending in clicks versus the income that's coming in. So, um, give you a quick, uh, you know, a little, you know, a little video on how to do it. So let's go ahead and look at this stuff here, and I'm logging into my own uh, self-hosted Prosper202, uh, eintellect.com, um, and basically uh, the network I add is my income, okay, right here. Uh, it's just my little affiliate management system, and affiliate campaigns, or basically offer, would be. Uh, let's see, right here. Okay, my three popular products. Okay, uh, iPhone Tactics, Optin Comment, and Premium Bands. Okay. Now, let me just show you something real quick here. When you go ahead and add it in, you know, just choose my uh, your, or you could actually put in the the offer or maybe your website, and then the campaign name, uh, uh, product here, and then the URL would be just basically. The, the website. If you're giving out a report or a product, just type it in. Um, that's it. Now the sub ID, you know, tracking tool two appends a unique ID to that. So you just want to probably put a question mark right there. And what it does, it basically, you know, allows tracking tool two to add the unique ID at the end of that URL without messing up your actual. Um, without messing up the, the domain itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. And I'm going to show you that real quick here. Take a look at optincomments.com slash question mark. And then we're going to add a unique ID to which Prospect202 usually does. Okay? Look at that. The website naturally loads with no, pro with no issues, no problems. Okay? And yet, it's, it's a regular domain and has a unique sub-ID which is appended by, you know, track 202. And it doesn't ruin your the URL at all. You can even put sub ID equals so it looks more better and it still will not ruin your uh, your the website. Okay? Still load perfectly fine. Okay? But if you just if you take away that question mark, you do get an error. Okay? This is my error page. Um, you know, so uh, you want to append that question, that question mark, so it naturally loads my income. Okay, and let's go back to uh, the intellect. Okay, now the best part about this is that this new feature that Wes and Track to a Two team added was the post back pixel, um, and this really actually helped me see where my uh, conversions are happening. Okay, I basically just choose, uh, you know, the, the landing my uh, product, choose it, and just hit generate tracking link. What does it? It creates a little pixel here. Okay, and I use this image pixel and I actually put it on the final destination page where they actually download the product. So I know that um, if this image loads with a unique cookie, whatever, from uh, tagging to two, that I've created a conversion and that conversion works, okay? So when it does, when the user search for opt-in comments through paid search, they click on the paid, the paid search ad, they buy it, 
and they pay and, and go to the last part of downloading the product, this pixel actually loads, which then fires back to intellect.com, which is my tracking system, and then actually um, puts a conversion on the back end of the system. So then I actually know that, okay, out of maybe 20 clicks, one conversion happens, okay? And that's probably, that's probably like a 200 some, something ROI, okay? Or probably over a thousand ROI, just because the product's $97 and I'm probably spending a dollar per click or whatever, okay? So, um, yeah, uh, this is quickly and easily, and it's basically just simple to use. You know, Prosper202, West Smaller, Tracking202.com, uh, system is a PPC analytics tool. It's just your way of thinking how to use it. Okay, um, that's it, and thanks for watching, guys.